What's up everyone? Mitch here with another tips and tricks video. This is going to be the third installment in this little series that I have been doing. Uh, today I'm going to teach you about something that I like to call pitch vectorizing in the ES2. In the ES2, yes. I made a tutorial over vectorizing already, uh, but I feel like there was things I left out of it, um, and most and mainly the things I left out of it was how to make it your own. I taught you how to do it, but just not how to make it your own. And so I'm going to show you some a technique today that um, you can do easily um, with the help of this vectorizing tool in the ES2. Great. Great, incredible. Um, so let's do this. Oh, sour about that. Okay. So now we're back. I would open up the ES2 synthesizer, and here we are. So much fun, so much fun. So, um, yeah, um, what I'm gonna come down and do is get the everlasting synthesizer. Uh, what I hope you are doing is building your own synths to use, but in the sake of time and whatever, uh, I'm just gonna open up this everlasting synth, uh, which is good. I like it. Why? Because it sounds like the Dominator. <laughs> I don't know why I like the Dominator so much, but, um, just go with it, okay? This is what it sounds like. Beautiful. Um, I think it's just like that crunchy, like really bold in your face synth. I don't know why, but I just kind of like that sound. So um, that's why I like this synth in particular. So um, now that we have this up, what I can do is come over here to the vector uh, view. And um, awesome. This is what it looks like. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time on how to do this. I've already gone over this in my vectorizing tutorial, so if you need to be reviewed on how to do these things, please go watch that before coming back and continuing the rest of this. The link should be right above my head. should be right up there. Click it. You know you want to. Peer pressure. Uh, so, yeah, let's get started. What I'm going to do is turn on pitch 1 and pitch 2 for my X and Y target, and I'm going to turn the intensity up to 1, all right? Fun stuff, fun stuff. So what's going to happen is the X, or sorry, the X on this graph is going to control the pitch of the second oscillator. The Y target, or oh my god, the X target will control the first oscillator pitch, and the Y target will control the second oscillator pitch. And this third oscillator is just going to be chilling down here, not doing anything. So I'm going to turn it off. Turns out it's not going to it's not going to mess up the sound of this too much. So I'm just going to turn it off, and yeah, that's why. So um, what I'm going to come down do is right click on the bar, change it to eight points, so that I have a little bit more um, wiggle room. Just play a little bit more with this. And then what I can do is press solo down here, and I can move this point all around this coordinate plane, and I can get different pitches. Okay? Fun stuff. Fun stuff. So, um, a little tip on this. When you are trying to find a certain pitch, I would highly recommend um, finding one that both X and Y are the exact same. So as you can see, negative 0.46 and negative 0.46 for X and Y. Um, in doing so, the pitches will line up and it will give you a nice sound. I will show you here why, why, I, why you need to do that. So here. When you get off of it, uh, when you just stray a little bit from that, it, it clashes really, really bad and you can, it can, you can definitely tell. Um, from that clip that I just played. So um, make sure that they are even wherever they might be. So, um, yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in through each of these points and I am going to change them. I'm going to change the pitch of them. And so, what I'm going for here is I'm going to, over this period of time, I'm going to be increasing the pitch of these two oscillators. And once I get this all done here, I will show you how that sounds and what we can do to make it sound even a little bit better. So much fun, right? So much fun. Okay, so now I'm going to play this really quick and show you what it sounds like. 
to first take off solo, that probably would help. Probably. Oh, there's one in there that's sour. Is it this one? I don't know which one it was. There, that sounds better. Um, you can definitely tell, like, um, what just happened. Um, if there is a point in there that is off, it's not the two X and the Y are not exactly on. You can definitely tell there's a note in there that clashes. And you don't want that, so um, there you are. Just another reason why you need to make sure those two things are point spot on. So uh, now that I have this, what I can do is easily increase the loop rate. I usually go to one half. And this will increase the overall time uh, by a factor of two. So... Let's see what it sounds like. Awesome. Incredible. So uh, I'm just going to increase the glide a little bit, see what kind of crazy sounds I can get out of it. So, um, yeah, that's basically all it is, pitch vectorizing. You can have so much fun with this. You can do so many different things. You can increase the pitch and then decrease it over a set period of time. So many different things you can do. Um, just have fun. Just go all out. You don't even need to be messing with pitch down here. You have you can mess with the different kinds of waves, the levels, the cutoffs, the, the resolution, the FM, the drive, whatever it may be, and you can get you can do so many different things. So, there I mean there's you can really make it your own. And I really don't hear these used too many or too many times in synth or electronic songs. Um, that that what I just did kind of sounded like something from Tron. I don't know if you heard that or not, but um, I was just playing it just a second ago, and that just reminded me of Tron. The soundtrack was from some big producer. I forgot. You guys are gonna rip me open for that. I know it, but whatever. But it just reminded me of that. So, I mean, there's different... I mean, people use it, just not very often. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to catch up with the series um, and watch the first two, I highly suggest it. You can learn a lot of stuff. I'm not going to be bragging, but some pretty awesome shit. So, uh, I should have those links above my head right now. Wish, wish. Um, so, yeah, click those. Go to them. Support me a little bit. Comment, rate, subscribe. Um, yeah. That's all I got. That's all I got, everyone. Y'all have a good day. Peace out.